mega week for uh, European bank earnings. Mm -hmm. Broadly speaking, so far, how, how has it shaped up? Yeah, it's been a bit of a mixed week for European banks. I think that was very much expected. We've had poor numbers from Deutsche Bank and, uh, and Barclays, uh, but uh, stronger numbers out from UBS and, as you said, uh, BNP Paribas. Uh, and now we've also got a uh, Royal Bank of Scotland and Lloyd's uh, Banking Group coming out in the, in the coming days. Uh, so investors are going to have a lot, of, uh, a lot more to deal with when it comes to the, the European banking sector. Let's focus on the UK banks. As you said, mm -hmm. Barclays appears to have problems. And yep. you mentioned Lloyds and RBS coming out later this week. Yep. Are Barclays problems unique to the bank itself or can we expect to see something similar in RBS and, and Lloyds as well? Yeah, I think what, what, what Barclays is a different be beast uh, compared to Lloyds and RBS given the fact that it is um, not fund well, not owned or have a st stake owned by, um, by the UK government. But when it comes to Barclays, its uh, problems uh, are not only isolated to Barclays. Its cash call is, uh, uh, that, we, that we saw yesterday is uh, something that we're expecting from Lloyds Banking Group uh, perhaps uh, this week because they're looking to sell down their um uh, their stake uh, that the government currently owns. Uh, from RBS, we have also a similar sort of story that comes comes out from Barclays in the sense that we uh, RBS will have to put aside money for uh, mis-selling PPI at the same time the, the, the libel manipulation uh, charges, the penalties that Bar uh, RBS has to face on that side uh, will be similar to uh, what Barclays underwent. But for European banks, though, you, you yep. touched on uh, re regulation is still a huge uncertainty yep. as is Absolutely. separating trading activities from retail activities. Absolutely. These are uh, weights on the banks, yet mm -hmm. the economy appears to be turning a corner. Yep. What, what will be the, the driving force? Will it be the upturn in the economy or the sort of dead weight from uncertainty? Yeah, absolutely. For, so for the European uh, banking system, of course, the, uh, the pickup in consumer uh, spending and consumer confidence, which we've seen in uh, the Eurozone, even though the fact that we did have a poor uh, French and German uh, retail spending out today, put that aside, the, the general consumer uh, confidence turn is improving. You say that your clients are still bank shy um, yeah, and they're yeah. only prepared to take short term punts, if you like, absolutely. on banks. Um, what kind of levels uh, are we talking about and what banks? Are we talking about? Yeah, yeah okay. absolutely. So let's go. Barclays is pretty high risk. I think you know on a short term level we 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 see a lot of trade on it, but at the entry point would be around about two uh, two seventy five p. Uh, HSBC is a big global bank. It's a it's a big favourite uh, given the fact that it has these vast operations. So even though if it makes losses in the U S. and in Europe, it generally makes it up uh, in, in Asia. So around about seven uh, seven hundred and twenty to seven hundred and thirty would be a good entry point for HSBC. Um, would sell. Uh, we would we would say that investors are. are our clients, let's say, are selling uh, uh, Deutsche Bank at around about 36 euros. Uh, and when it comes to UBS, um, buy, buy the dip. Um, it's around that 18 uh, Swiss franc. Um.